YouTube. Adam here with Northern Colorado Adventures and today we're going to be taking a ride on the stand-up paddle board in a different kind of way. I'm trying out a new product made by Air Kayak that actually is a universal uh, chair that turns a uh, stand-up paddle board inflatable even into a sit-on-top kayak for a fraction of the price of an actual sit-on-top fishing kayak and we're going to go fish Dixon Reservoir which is just a couple of minutes from my house just to kind of test this thing out. Right, so quick gear review. This is a Dama Amazon purchased uh, stand up paddle board, inflatable. So, the important part of this is uh, first of all, it's about 11 feet long, 10 and a half to be exact. You see the size on the side. And we've really loved on these just a little bit here in Colorado. They've been solid, um, easy to inflate. The pumps that come with them are really reliable. They actually work and they actually last. The most important thing though is these four harness points. This is all that's required uh, for the uh, chair that I purchased to be attached to this and turn it into a sit on top kayak. You've got some bungees there that are also um, attached with the D-ring to the actual surface. It's very stout. And then you've got a handle in the back and then a handle in the middle to carry it three fins on the bottom and it includes the GoPro mount up front which we're going to use today to kind of get all the footage we can about the experience. Okay so maiden voyage we've got our GoPro and a waterproof case just in case I flip this thing I've got my son's mini tackle box it's about the size of a small kid's lunch box underneath the cords I've got the chair strapped in at all four stanchions or d-rings and I went ahead and put the paddleboard leash through the seat and through the foam handle on my Comfort Edition. It'll float, but I don't want to lose that. Fins are on. I've got two uh, Mighty Might type poles. So these are about a third of the length of an actual standard size fishing pole. I'm running a power bait um, made lure. Uh, for trout, and I'm also running a spoon uh, lure, as you can see here, kind of uh, something to kind of wake them up, right? And we'll kind of see how they do. I threw a couple of salmon eggs on there. What the heck? Hey guys, so, so far this is worth it. I've got about at least eight people I've seen now show up, maybe ten, fishing at your typical shore spot. But we're going to aim for this kind of shady stuff over here. But there's some structure and the water's cooler. Um, of course I'll try the middle of the lake but there's literally no one on the lake so I'm kind of liking the exclusivity of it right now because I could be the only one that's out of this so we shall see head over here to a little deeper water stay away from all the people that are stressing the fish out 
going to do is we're going to use the wind and drift this thing like a slow troll. And that's how we're going to start today. Because the wind is out of the east south. Uh, east going towards Wyoming and we're just gonna harness that let this little guy dangle So the take home message is the chair was very stable. You can cast on it. It's easy to get on and off. I'm a, I consider myself an intermediate level uh, paddle boarder. I can get on when there's wake. I can get on when the water is of course nice and smooth. Um, and I felt like the paddle board was very easily, easily maneuverable from a seated position. So I highly recommend one of these seats. They're about $80, 60 to $80 competitive uh, companies are listing them for $200. So try the Air Kayak brand, see if you like it, add some padding in there, maybe a towel, maybe an old t-shirt, something you don't mind losing in the lake, and have a great time, be safe, and enjoy. See you on the next adventure.